okay Andy, a uh, bit of a break from league action tonight, back into Staff Senior Cup and uh, booked a place in the final for a third year running. Yeah, um, it's great to get a reaction off the Saturday. I mean, the, the day started badly with the news that Joel Cuff has broken his ankle and he's done his ligaments and he'll be out for the rest of the season. Uh, which meant we were short tonight uh, in terms of availability. Um, Newcastle have put up a good performance tonight, giving us a game. But I thought we started the game the stronger side. We got the good reward. Jack Sherrett finished a good move in the end uh, to give us that, that goal. Um, perhaps we could have maybe gone in at half time, maybe with an, another goal to the good as well. Second half, we expected a response from Newcastle. They gave it, they, they threw a lot at us in the end. Uh, but I thought defensively tonight we were a lot more resilient. We've just spoken in the change room now about taking that resilience and taking that discipline into the next set of league games. We've got three massive league games coming up at home uh, where we have to get points um, in our bid for survival. Uh, but the good, the good, the positive from tonight is it's a win. We've got a final to look forward to. Uh, but the main, the bread and butter has got a bit of league points uh, as we move on. Yeah, but uh, going, keeping on. Tonight's game, um, I thought it was a slowish start to the game all round, and um, a minute before we scored, Newcastle probably should have scored themselves. I think James Askey sort of had a ball at the back post and he put it wide when it looked like the uh, the goal was inviting. We had a bit of a let off with that, and then, like you say, a good move, three or four players involved. Um, Jazz Lucky had the shot saved, and Jack Sherrick was there to pick up the pieces, really, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think with with James Askey, if that's a bit of luck, great. I think that's maybe the second piece of luck we've had all season following the uh, Kidderminster penalty that got blazed over the bar because I can't remember the other, many other point <laughs> times when we've had luck. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's always a cagey game in, in this type of, type of event. You know, it was like Kids Grove away last year in the semi-final. You know, a team from a division below you is always going to try and prove that they're better than you, that they want to be in your division and um, we expected that from Newcastle and they've got a good set up here and Robbie's got a, a good set of lads and uh, they gave us a performance and uh, I'm just delighted we've come away with a win and a clean sheet and uh, we work on that on Thursday now and take it into the home game against uh, Whitby on Saturday. Yeah, they, um, they didn't really threaten until the last sort of 15, they had a lot of the ball, they kept pushing forward but like you say, our, our back line held firm and it was only the last probably 10-15 minutes where they started to get more bodies into the area. Um, but the, John O'Brien didn't really have much to save, did he? No, I don't think he did. And I, and I think uh, you know they, they threw the proverbial kitchen sink at us in the last 5-10 minutes and you expect it because they've got nothing to lose. You know, and, and, and their gain is the sneak and equaliser and they're going to a penalty competition. So uh, we had to be resilient, we had to be strong. And, and I thought today what was different to Saturday when we actually cleared the ball, we actually got some distance to it. And that was the difference between today and Saturday where defensively we weren't at it. Uh, but tonight, you know, we've, we've had the benefit of the two Burnsies coming back in. Uh, Josh could play tonight in the cup, but he, he still misses another two league games. But at least Danny came back in today and gave us that stability. And uh, we look forward to having Johnny Moran back in the squad on Saturday uh, for the Whitby game. So, uh, and we you have John, Josh Green as well. Back and in Josh Ashton Green, well but uh, he, he sort of cramps up towards the uh, last 10 minutes of the game and got replaced by Hilly. So it's always great to have a, a, a deputy Hilly to come on there and, uh, and, and seal it for us as well with a couple of important challenges and clearances. So. Uh, you know, it's a positive, isn't it, Chris? It's it's a win. We've got a final to look forward to, and the fans deserve that more than anything. Uh, they've had to, you know, endure a, a, a difficult season. Um, we're not dead and buried yet. We've got to keep on believing that we can pick up some points and uh, move up the table. With uh, Joe Cuff's injury, are we looking to bring anybody else in? Well. It'll depend who's available and who we can get hold of, um, but the, the possibility is that in the short term there might not be anybody available. I mean, Alex and I will be on the phone in the next couple of days seeing who is available because uh, Joe's a big miss who's just uh, come back to us and just getting back to the speed of this division compared to the North West Counties. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I said at the time on Saturday I thought the challenge on Joe was very poor. Uh, the referee's impression was that he took the ball, well I think he did take the ball but he also came through the back of Joe and you don't end up with a, an injury um, that Joe sustained just by uh, falling over on the pitch uh, but it's gone, it's done and dusted but it's, it's just another 
a travesty of our season, another injury that you just can't, you know, account for. Okay, thank you. Well,